Hello and welcome to the commentary box. I'm doing the last of everything England and it's the Belgium versus England review. So it's definitely um, a difficult one to sort of discuss in the terms of it was our third place playoff. I didn't manage to catch all the game, but I certainly managed to catch all uh, most of it. Sorry, played a fairly strong team. I think I worked out maybe about five changes. I think they brought in. Danny Rose for Young, it was Phil Jones for Walker, Loft and Cheek for Ali, um, it was Delph for Lingard and Dyer for Henderson, so yeah, so five changes. And Belgium pretty much played their first strong team, they certainly want to win that. We were sort of going in half heartedly, we did have Kane playing, um, who in the end did win the Golden Boot, uh, which is really, really good for England and. <sighs> Sorry, a bit tired. Uh, and for overall. Um, just doing well at the World Cup, you know, it's quite a good tournament. I, I want to say he's had the most amazing tournament, I think, because if you look at the goals he scored, he scored a tapping against Tunisia, then a good header against Tunisia, but then he scored, what, uh, three penalties, one against Colombia, two against Panama, and a lucky deflection to get him a hat trick. So, really, from open play, it's actually only scored one, like, decent header, really, and the other has been penalties, but he's been very, very good, and obviously, to score. Well, overall, he took four, didn't he? Because he took one penalty shooting. Columbia took four penalty, scored four. That's a good record to have. Um, so, no, I think he's done well. I think that's sort of my men of the tournament, in a way. I don't know if you might have saw my Twitter. I did put it on there as well, uh, which is at JillsFan1893, if you're wondering. Cheeky. Give you a follow. Uh, but, yeah, my, my players were Maguire. I think he's just so solid at the back. Literally every corner of free could aim for him. He just wins everything in the air. He was very, very good. Um, I think Trippier was amazing. I thought he was so solid, consistent as well, which is something I often don't say about England players. He was just consistently performing at a top level. He's got a good penalty against Colombia and a really good free kick against Croatia in the semi final, uh, which made me believe, you know, that could have been it. And then my other player of the tournament would obviously be Pickford. Uh, he had a great save against Mandzukic, uh, a really good save in the penalty shootout in Colombia, a very good save during the game against Colombia, uh, also three very good saves against Sweden, and overall it's been quite consistent really, I don't think he hasn't really made any mistakes or anything, he played quite well, uh, so I think he's definitely up there, and I think this has been such a good confidence boost, and I think it's going to look really good towards the Euros in terms of how moving forward we are, how Southgate played, it's great to actually have a manager who's done well in a World Cup, and everyone's like, you know what, Southgate, we love you, you've done well. Doesn't happen normally. It's a bit more in our only bits that like, swayed size, but I know I think we've done really, really well. Um, I think people need to realise as well when it's all to look that coming home sort of stuff. You know, it was semi jokey. You know, no one really thought, oh, you're actually going to win the World Cup, but you know, we won a couple of games. We thought, yeah, let's start singing. Like it's just a bit of fun. Honestly, there's so many anti England fans out there who have this hatred towards England. Now I understand maybe there's history, for example, like, Scottish and Welsh people. I know the history of our ancestors and their ancestors not very good and very bad on the English behalf however no Englishman has got that now and it's not like we share those same views or things like that but it, yeah I, like, I don't really understand it so much like I, I personally don't hate any country I don't really dislike any country in terms of football um None. Like I actually quite like supporting um, Wales. Been to Wales a couple of quite a lot of times, and I do like supporting Wales and watching Wales when they're on. I like Northern Ireland. I like their setup and things like that. Uh, Ireland, I don't watch so much, but normally because uh, they're the sort of the better of the lot. For example, in the Euros they were in, um, when they're playing or when they're in it, England also are. So I tend to watch England and Scotland. Scotland probably are the weaker of all the sides. Obviously, probably better than Northern Ireland, of course, but. Uh, just based on that being a bigger country simply, but I, I do watch Scotland sometimes. Um, anyway, very sidetracked there. Back to England, Belgium. Um, I thought the game, I thought we started poor. Like, obviously we can see in the goal in like four minutes from Tillemans, and it wasn't great. Just wasn't really good. We had a couple of opportunities. Uh, Eric Dyer, they always felt... <sighs> it all fell to Eric Dyer. 
Opportunity opportunity had a, a header which he just did into the target. He also had the confidence to chip it over Courtois, which was very, very good. But all the viral was there to clear off the line. You know, I thought we were unlucky, but I thought Southgate wasn't really bothered. I don't think I was either. I think it doesn't really matter too much. Like third, fourth, yeah, would have been great to get a medal, but no one was really that fussed about the game. Uh, I think Harry Kane was uh, fussed in terms of he wanted to get make sure he got that golden boot, uh, which he did. Lukaku didn't score. Lukaku didn't play great. Uh, in all honesty, um, Pickford did make a good save. To be fair, in the second half, Belgium had that amazing 20 seconds of world-class football. Um, it was probably a save that you'd expect them to make, but nevertheless, it was a good save. Give credit to him there, weren't you? You know, I thought Phil Jones did look a bit rusty, didn't look great. But when I'm watching after the game, the analysis of it, Gary Neville was saying, you know, he doesn't play every single week at Manchester United. I think he might have gone to City or something. He made some move. Um, and it was sort of like, well, how do you expect to play? And I understand that. How do you expect to play? But didn't play week in, week out football to then sort of grasp and be alert and be sort of used to being checking around. Obviously, that's basic football. But when you're not playing week in, week out, something you can just switch off. And I feel like it wasn't quite as sharp as you would have thought it'd be. Um, because obviously talking about football is very, very different. <sighs> you can't quit. Well, apologies for the yawns. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's too much to really talk about the game. I think this is more of a sort of a sort of review of um, England as a whole. I think we've done well. I think we'd be proud and move on to the Euros and be quite confident. I know the the European Championships are being played in uh, many countries across Europe. I know England are hosting the semi-final and the final, which will be very interesting. Uh, so if we do get there obviously having the home backing would be incredible to have but yeah it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how far we get um, I think we have played well we've done well I think we can be proud uh, Southgate's done a very very good job I don't know if you saw lately but they've actually changed a name of a uh, tube station or train station uh, which was called uh, Southgate to Gareth Southgate which is quite quite funny quite good but you know what we can be proud we've done well I'm so sorry for these ones. Um, with the teams that we played, I think we've done fairly good. Obviously, just to have a brief recap, you know the score, you know, getting past Tunisia, we sort of did, even though it was a little bit hard. The Panama game was an outstanding victory. We broke a lot of records, you know, a very, very young team, got the golden boot, um, you know, no, we haven't won 6-1 in a World Cup ever before, let alone by that margin, because uh, victory of the World Cup uh, was the joint most goals scored in the game, obviously, with the Belgium 5-2 win over Panama as well. So, it might be 5-3, actually. Not sure. Um, but yeah, you know, everyone's happy, we're happy, we should be good on to the European Championship. It's not coming home, but country done and proud. <laughs>